This program is Local Runs, and today's topic is the Good Enough to Share program at WPA-TV. And this program reminds us that local doesn't have to mean made in Mullingford. It takes TV from other areas of the world and puts it on WPA-TV's channel. And I'm chatting with Mike Spiteri, a guarantor for the Good Enough to Share program. So um, what exactly does that mean? What do you do for the Good Enough to Share program? I think the um, best way to explain that would be I'm a handful, I'm one of a handful of local citizens that promote some sort of local programming that they believe in so it can be available on the local WPAA channel. Interesting, interesting. So that's what the guarantors do. Um, how did you get started with this program? Uh, for me, it was a phone call a few years ago. Um, the director for WPAA called me and um, embarrassingly, I had to look up the word because I never heard it before. And um, she mentioned Democracy Now! So I checked it out, you know, got back in touch with her. Um, I felt that it was um, a program that um, was in line with my core beliefs. So I agreed to do it. Interesting. So she proposed the specific program. Yes. But um, it could be any, any sort of program that people are interested in, I believe, right? Yeah. Yep. Could be hobbies, I think. Any special interests. Right. Um, anything to get the programming out to, um, to the community. I right. just so happens that mine's news-based. News that was in, I believe, 2013 that this happened? That sounds about right. It was a while ago. So what made you keep going with it for all these years? Well, well, like I said, it's something I believe in. It's relatively easy. There's, on my end, I just had to, um, usually yearly I'm asked if I want to re-up. It's up to me if I want to be more involved. Um, I, I watch the program occasionally, and if I find something that I think is particularly interesting, I'll point it out in social media. You just have to promote it occasionally on social media? I have to agree to put my name on with it. Would you recommend other people get involved with this program? Um, sure, because um, it's a great way to get um, information out to other people that might be interested in the same thing or share same interests as you. Like I said, it could be uh, hobbies, um, public interest, anything that um, you, um, you know, that you have an interest in and you want to share it with the community. Right, right. Relatively um, painless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, moving on to talking about Democracy Now! It's a uh, daily hour-long news program covering politics and political issues, right? I think. I'm pretty sure it airs um, on WPA every day at 3 and 6.30 p.m. That's correct, and it's, it's, on, it's online all day. Mm -hmm. um, so... You can use it as a podcast if you want um, through your phone, or you could watch it um, on the channel, whatever you know it's convenient for for the viewer. What made you um, want to share it with more people? Well, you know, there's a couple reasons. Um, mainly, it's just an uh, it's another option. Um, for you to get your news and information. Um, it's a independently run um, program. It's not backed by any government grants or um, commercials, so sponsorship. Um, so they're not incumbent to consider the sources. And, um, you know, Regular media is um, its owned. Uh, cable companies are owned, and the the owners have agendas and special interests. And I mean, you could just look at Fox and CNN and see the different way they do their news um, programs, just to see the bias that's involved. And um, I think this is one of the most unbiased representations for 
the global news. Right, right. Um, so, um, so that's kind of what it brings to the Longford community then? It brings unbiased news, I suppose? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's you know, go, come back to, I think why Susan reached out to me is when I was more in the public, um, then when I was doing my uh, politics, um, I, I stood for um, transparency and um, truth, integrity. Those things were important to me. And uh, so I latched on right away to democracy now because that's, they seem to be coming from the same direction and interest. So that's why I thought it was important. Interesting. So you have a bit of a background in politics? Yeah, I served 10 years after. I had a, a sports injury, which um, affected my mobility. And um, I always had an interest in politics, but from afar. And uh, I always thought when I retired, I would get involved. But after my injury, that kind of accelerated things. And, you know, for a while, it allowed me to stay in the public um, and be viable and important, you know, which things I always, you know, I wanted to be um, important. Um, well, I shouldn't say important, but, you know, I wanted to make a difference. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, due to my injury and as you age, you become stamina and things become a, an issue. So, um, you know, I, I served as long as I could politically, but, um, this allows me a way to still be relevant in yeah. my eyes. Well, I'm glad you're able to still be relevant thanks to um, this program. You just mostly do social media promoting if you promote the program at all? Yeah, mostly on, well, basically on Facebook. Um, if I find something that's of a particular interest, um, I'll put it out there and share it both publicly and, um, you know, broadly on Facebook. So my friend groups will see it, and uh, the the general the general public could see it. And yeah, you, know, you just hope that every once in a while you steer another person to um you know see become aware of something they they didn't know was available for them. Yeah, political awareness and awareness of news media even is very important, very good to promote. Yeah, that's uh. That's what that's facts. I mean, yeah. it's crazy nowadays, you know, oh, yeah. um, or it's a rat race times 10. People don't have the patience. Um, they, they, I don't think they want to have to sift through and decide what's, what's real and what might be fake news. It's good to have quality programming that does that. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to add that I didn't ask about? I think that kind of covers it. Good. Well, um, I think I've gotten a better understanding of not only Democracy Now!, but the Good Enough to Share program overall. So, um, thank you for joining me today, Mr. Okay. No problem. My pleasure. Of course. Thank you.